What's up, everybody? DK Web Design Studio back again, featuring another Wix tutorial website video. All right, so today we're going to be doing something I, I did a number of years ago, which was the PDF embedding into your Wix website, the fast and easy way. The last time Wix had a slightly different looking interface, so this time we're going to do an update with the new Wix layout so that you guys could be up to date and follow along quickly and simply. So let's get started. All right, as I always like to do, I begin by adding a strip to the page. And this just gives me a section that I can actually drop my PDF onto. Now, I always like to create a header using a text box. So I go up to the top text, just grab myself a heading. And over here, I'm gonna create a little bit of space. I'm gonna say, uh, download your free PDF here, exclamation mark. And I can customize that a little bit if I wanna, oops, just wanna make that a little bit smaller, uh, maybe make it bold, underlined. Let's change the color a little bit, cool. All right, download your free PDF here. Now, to add the PDF, the last time there was an upload section. Now, since the interface has changed, you're gonna go to media. And in media, what we're gonna do is you're not gonna necessarily see any media that you've uploaded. Uh, well, you'll see any of the media that you've uploaded previously over here under site files. But if you've never used this before, you're brand new to Wix, just click upload media at the very bottom. And I'm gonna upload the media from my computer. I already have a PDF that I wanna use, this Think and Grow Rich book. And I'm gonna go ahead and just open it up give it a second to think it's gonna be uploaded, and there it is. So you'll see it, and you can organize this into your site files. I'm just gonna keep it right here. I'm gonna click Add to Page. There's my PDF. So there's a couple of things we can do here. If you wanna add the title of the PDF, it'll show the document title. We can change that, of course, by changing the title of the document itself. Um, we can also change the design of this icon if we wanna go with a well, we don't want a PowerPoint, but if we just want an icon like that, or we want something no frills, just go along with something like that. So I like this, this looks pretty cool. We can change the size of that icon, bring it down. I'm gonna center this in the strip. All right, so we're gonna put it somewhere right there in the center. And I always like to call attention to things with arrows, it's just part of my design methodology. So we'll click on shape. I'm gonna click a random arrow here. We're gonna go back to change basic shape, search for arrow, and enter. Um, and let's just pick something that looks cool. Um, this one always, I always like to go with something like that. Add that to the page, rotate that a little bit. Um, all right, make sure it's all the way rotated. We do something like that. And you could play around, do whatever you guys want. I'm just going something simple here. Change the color. So there's your PDF. And once you're ready, you're gonna publish your page. I'm gonna click preview. And then all the user has to do when they visit it is click on the icon and now they have access to that PDF. They can also download the PDF or print it out. Uh, this is directly in the browser. Uh, and you'll notice also at the top here, there's a URL. So an alternate method to doing this would be to be to potentially send out an email, an automated email, and this could be the subject of another video that would have the link to the PDF in it. Uh, so they won't necessarily jump to this website, but they'll go directly to the URL of the PDF that you have published and have access to the file. So it's a nice way to either give users access on your website uh, and you can use it in a members only area. You can do a lot of different iterations there, or you can send out an automated email and have people link to the PDF. I always like to get users to come to the website, it increases your traffic, your SEO, and does a lot of other things that are beneficial to your business by having visitors come to it. So anyways, that's really all there is to it. I uh, hope you guys found this video useful. I'm sorry this took a little bit of time to update. Since Wix is always changing their interface, I like to wait until modules change significantly. But if you like this video, please like it. 
subscribe to my channel, and thanks for visiting DK Web Design Studio.